Hi, my name is Dion Melvin. I'm a flatbed truck driver for PNS Transportation. Only you can help prevent forest fires. Hey, I'm just joking, man. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Flatbed gang. Y'all like when I say that? I say it all the time. Flatbed gang. I am here in Virginia. I could tell you the name of it, but I didn't check my atlas, so I'm not too sure what the name of the city is. All I know is my GPS brought me here. That's all I know. I can't remember the name of this city, but give me one second, I'll tell you. What's the name of this damn city? I forgot the name of the damn city already. All I know, my second my second stop is in Petersburg. I, oh, Verona. Verona, Virginia. That's where I'm at. Verona, Virginia. It is 5.08 p.m. Sunday. Not sure today's date, but it's Sunday. My load drops off in the morning at 6 a.m. I just stopped at the Petro down on exit 205 on 81. I stopped there for about, about three hours, went inside the iron skillet, got me some dinner, walked around, took a couple pictures. You probably see them on my Instagram. Just took a couple pictures, random stuff. Uh, I stayed there for about three hours, like I said, sat there, played around, bullshitted. Then I decided to come on up here that way. Uh, my load notes say I dropped the load at six, but the bill say seven. So I figured I'd go ahead and come here. That way I don't have to drive up here in the morning, take these tarps off. Well, with my clock still running, starting at 6 a.m. And then, uh, you know, whatever. So I save my clock. I go and get up here tonight. I got everything I need in the truck. I got some water couple snacks already ate dinner pretty good dinner at the iron skillet so i'm already here so tonight i'm about to go ahead and take these bungees off this um off this tarp and get it ready where all i gotta do in the morning is just pull it off because i gotta re-tarp it again to go i'm not sure maybe 200 some miles to petersburg i'm not sure how far it is i ain't even put it in my gps yet and i haven't looked at it on my atlas but uh I'm pretty sure I can get to Petersburg without even looking at a map. I know I got to probably just get on 64, go all the way to Richmond, and drop down on 95. It, it can't be that hard. Can't be that hard, can it? I think that's how I'm going to get there. I'm not too sure because I haven't even trip planned it yet. I'll do that tonight. I will trip plan it tonight. But as of right now, my plan is to drop this load in the morning, leave here, go straight there. My truck is already full. If I stop, I might just stop and get some coffee or something, stretch my legs, get out, do a quick load check. Even though you only do load checks every 150 miles or every three hours, whichever one comes first. Or at any times you feel it is necessary to do a load check. Sometimes you do more than others. But by the book, every three hours, every 150 miles. A couple weeks ago, I did a video. Where was I at? I was in Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. I did a video where I had on uh, some shorts, t-shirt. I think I might've had a collar shirt on. I got on a t-shirt now. Uh, I don't know if y'all know or not, but you know, we are in the middle of the summer. Sometimes it may hit a hundred degrees or more. So I like to be comfortable at some places and wear shorts if it allows for it. My last video, I was wearing pants. I was at Newcore Steel. You have to have on long pants and long sleeves at some times. So a couple weeks ago, I had on a video, I had one guy come in talking shit about, oh, you shouldn't wear that outfit. You should wear long sleeves and long pants and look professional. Hey, man. Man, we ain't living in the 80s, brother. Not, hey, we ain't in the 70s. When y'all nights of the highway were talking on CBs and going to truck stops, cooking your own breakfast, stuff like that, whatever y'all did back in them days, talking on pay phones, Going home twice a year, sending money Western Western Union, going weeks without showers. Hey, all that stuff, man. Hey, man, it's a new school now. It's a new school. Hey, and, and I don't, I don't, 
Hey, I, I don't even consider it hate when people say stuff like that. Because I don't look at it as hate. I just look at people voicing their opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I put myself on a social media platform. So when I put myself out on social media, I have to take the good with the bad. I'm setting myself up for it. It doesn't bother me. It really just gives me something to talk about. So I don't bore y'all to death. But yeah, I had on uh, some shorts, steel toe boots, collar shirt. Guess what? Right now, I got on a t-shirt, some shorts. I'll show you what else I got on. Can y'all see me? Y'all see me? Woo! Nike flip-flop. Nike flip-flops. Even worse than the steel toe boots. Nike flip-flops at the moment. Guess what I'm about to do? With these Nike flip-flops on. Guess what I'm about to do? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? At this very moment, I'm about to take these bunches off with the Nike, with the Nike flip flops. Hope I don't hurt too many feelings. Let's get to work, gang. Just took a shower. I just took a shower like 25 miles up the road at a pilot. Exit 205. They got that big ass petrol up there too. Trucker Path says it has 640 spots. That's what it says on Trucker Path, but don't get me the line. I'm not sure how many it got. Cause I actually went to the pilot, took a shower. Cause you know. We can't we can't fuel up at Petro and TA, so we gotta fuel at a pilot of loves. So I ain't got no shower credits at the TA or Petro. So I went to the pilot to take a shower. Then I went to the uh the Petro to get, get something to eat. Because that uh the pilot they had a Wendy's. Petro they had an iron skillet. So since it's Sunday, I said I'm gonna go get me a Sunday dinner at the iron skillet. I had to back my truck up a little bit where I could get on the uh, right side of my trailer. Cause some tall grass over there. So I'm in the middle of the street. Now I'm about to pull back up. Pull back up on the side so traffic can get through in the morning. Yep. 6 8. Well, like I said, PNS told me 6 a.m. My bills say 7. So that's, I mean, that's all good. Cause if it's really due at seven, so that means by me getting here at six a.m., I have time to uh, go ahead and have the tarps and straps and all that stuff off by seven a.m. So that ain't no big deal. If they do take me at six a.m., that's even better. Cause I gotta retarp the load. Cause I got a second stop. So if they take me at six a.m., that's even better. I just gotta make sure I'm up. I'm gonna be up by like five thirty. As soon as this gate opens up, cause they got a gate up there. As soon as that gate opens up in the morning, I'll be pulling in. They're probably gonna pull me all the way around the building. However they do it, but anyway. Y'all see me? We just gonna sit here and wait. I guess we'll see what happens in the morning. The air, the cold was ground, was wet. The air was cold, the ground was wet. The smell of fear, I never forget. Smell of fear, I never forget. 
We was always ready to go. We was always ready to go. So early, so early, so early in the morning. High ho, lock and load. High ho, lock and load. Senator Rodas is all we know. Senator Rodas is all we know. We was always ready to go. We was always ready to go. So early, so early, so early in the morning. What y'all know about that? What y'all know about that, man? What y'all know about that forces for armor? Let me go ahead and pull this truck in. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson about pulling in places before you go before you go check in. So yeah, I had to walk down the hill and go check in real quick. Let's get on down the hill. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Going down the hill. Going down the hill. Got to creep it. Five miles an hour. I can't hit five miles an hour. Going down the hill. Woo, woo, woo. Almost hit it. Hey. Y'all better be careful with that new ELD update. Yeah. Once you hit five miles an hour, that's it. You on the drive line. Hey, sometimes, hey, sometimes I be trying to creep. I fuck around. I fuck around, hit that five miles an hour, trying to creep. And once I hit it, I be like, damn, fuck it. I'm already on drive line now. Then I just take off. Yeah, I learned my lesson like I was just saying when I was walking up. When I come places like this, I leave. I just leave my truck where it's at. I walk down there to the office to check in and then go from there. Cause hell, you never know. You might pull down here. You might be in a fucked up situation. Cause just now when I just walked down here, they had a whole bunch of pickup trucks and stuff parked in the way. When I came down here and checked in, the guy was like, uh, yeah, go ahead and pull in. I'm going to move all these pickup trucks out of the way. See, I definitely learned my lesson about that. I walk, I walk my ass where I got to go first. Hey, Smith system, get the big picture. That also, that also goes back to one of the most common acronyms in trucking there is. You see a lot of guys got it on their mirrors. We see some guys got it printed on the side of the driver and when they look in their mirror, they can see it. Go, get out and look. Y'all know how it goes, man. Get out and look. The same thing I just did in my last video when I was backing up inside that building. And I couldn't see, I couldn't see behind me. So what did I do? I got out and looked. It already looked tight back here. I see the crane over there. Already looked tight. I didn't even go around that back side. I'm going to go around the front side where I can get my trailer up there. On the operator. I'm gonna say I know, I know he didn't get here before I did. Cause there ain't nobody coming that gate. He gonna have to back up. He gonna have to back up. Let me through. Where this damn crane's at? Talk to this guy real quick.
owner operator beside me. Yeah, he gonna have to move so I can be able to swing around. He that guy also has some uh also got some snap binders. Yeah, he must have bobbed tail in this morning and picked this load up. Picked up that trailer that he got. But yeah, he definitely gonna have to move for me to bed back in. Well, I gotta swing right back out. I gotta swing out where he at. So yeah, he definitely gonna have to get the step. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swing my I'm gonna swing around his back end. Let's, let's see, we're gonna swing around his, his back. Nah, I ain't about to do that. I'm, gonna wait, I'm just gonna wait for him to move out the way. That's what I'm gonna do. Mike can do it. All depends on how, how how good of a super trucker the boy really is. So I just wait on. Nah, I'm just gonna wait on him to move. Yeah, cause I gotta. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, you see me looking. I get to stepping. Yeah, I gotta get my fr I gotta get my front end over there where where his front end is at, so I can straight back. So yeah, all he gotta do is just pull up out of the way. Yeah, but get the step. Look like that's what he about to do. I see he just closed his dog box. Yeah, buddy, get the step. Flatbed game. New school versus old school. <laughs> and, and he got a Kenworth with, with double stacks. Okay, that'll work, buddy. That'll work. Yeah, he just pulling straight back. That'll work. Just enough room for me to swing my front end out here. Yeah, flatbed game. Work together. Teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. I want y'all to keep that in mind. That's a good life quote. Not not just for flatbed game. That's that's for anything. Mainly, my buddy that got married in Atlanta a couple years ago, he told me that. When him and his wife bought a house. They bought a big ass house in Atlanta. And I said, damn, bro, that's, that's quite an accomplishment. He said, yeah, bro, teamwork makes the dream work. So yeah, good life quote. Yeah, got this back end around. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead straight back. Straight back. Yeah, we do this. Yeah, straight back. That's what we do. Flat bag game. Hey, I was reading I was reading some comments yesterday on one of my buddies, my buddy's YouTube page. And the guy was talking about he had trouble backing. Driving U.S. Express. Hey man, out of sight, turn right. See the tread, turn left. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do, brother. Just keep that back. Hey, set yourself up good, and the rest will follow. That's all you gotta do. It's all about the setup. Once you, once you get that set up right, once you get that set up right, you, you in there. Once you get that back in, inside that hole, all you gotta do, make a couple small, couple of small uh, corrections, and you in there. Like I'm doing right now. My back end is already in the hole. Now I just gotta take it easy, creep it in there. Yeah. And you don't gotta rush. Just take your time, get it in there. If you got a ground guy, that's even better. There's two guys back here standing behind me. 
these motherfuckers just standing there. They ain't giving me no kind of directions, but I got it. They just standing there looking at me. I'm pretty sure they're gonna tell me when to stop. Oh, now, now, now he's, now he's got his hand up, telling me. Yeah, now, now he wants to do something. In there, like swimwear. Another one. Wasn't too bad of a straight back. See all that space right there? I just had to get that other guy to move so I could pull straight up. There's plenty of space. Anybody can do that. Damn. So that's all they left me with. One, two, three, five. About 10 pieces. Go ahead and throw the tarps back on this real quick. So I can make it to my second stop. Head to my second stop, 149 miles away. Yo, whenever y'all tired of seeing talk videos, man, y'all just let me know. Just made it to the second stop. Okay, I gotta do the same thing. Do the same thing I just did earlier. And not, not do to do. Let me check this place. About neither. Not these. Yeah, these right here. My appointment is at one o'clock. What time is it? Eleven. I'm here two hours early. So yeah, I think I might save myself a little bit of time. Let's get to work, D. All right, gang. It's the end of this journey. 11.32 right now. They just pulled me in. I got a truck beside me. I think they got to take off like one piece off of his truck. Yeah, he's taking it off right now. So I guess they're going to get me after that. I only got about... I think I got like three layers up here. Well, it's hot out there. I'm fully dressed. I got jeans on. Hell. I'm waiting on them to come over here and tell me to cut my truck off. I ain't said nothing yet. I still got it running. And I got the AC wide open, so in case they do tell me to cut it off, 
something. It already be have a little bit of coolness up in here. All right, gang, wrap it up. Another one. I'm out.